So welcome back to the channel. And I just want to start out by saying thanks to everybody who's been tuning in and giving me the support um, while making this YouTube channel. So thank you very much. And I just want to be upfront as well. This is another scenic drive. And the reason for that is one, we're always on the road looking for hiking spots, camping spots, potential photography locations. And one thing that I've really realized through this YouTube channel is I crawl out of my skin talking to the camera especially when there's anyone around. And ironically enough, that even happens when I've got my partner with me who actually has given me the confidence to create this YouTube channel. So bear with me while I work through the awkwardness of being in front of the camera. And if you're not interested in the actual scenery drive, um, feel free to skip to the end where I do discuss a little bit of the photography. So thanks for tuning in. So today we're headed out to State Forest State Park up in oh, the northwest corner of Colorado and it's supposed to be kind of known as the um, less popular Rocky Mountain National Park. And as we're driving through, we're just driving along the Poudre Canyon. You can see all this, all this is from this year's wildfires. So there's tons of little campgrounds and rest areas along this drive, but they're all closed right now because of uh, restoration basically. I don't know how well you can see it, but there it's just destroyed with burn. So we'll catch up with you uh, when we get to State Forest State Park and see if we can't find some moose. It's also supposed to be the, the moose capital of Colorado. So let's, uh, let's take a ride and see what we can do today. <laughs> State Forest State Park, and I haven't seen any Bigfoots yet, but I'm on the lookout for moose. So I'm going to take a walk down this path. Uh, some views should open up here in a little bit and see what we can get into with a little bit of photography.
So right from the visitor center at State Forest State Park, there's uh, the simplest trail, essentially, if you don't have snowshoes or winter gear. So, I don't know, maybe 15 minute walk and the, um, the trail is, is well, well maintained. Now you cross a little bit of a creek, which looks pretty cool. But the whole walk, you've got these beautiful crags in the background. And then we've come up to this cabin. I think it's worth a picture, worth a photograph, right? So the struggle for me right now, do I shoot it in portrait orientation or landscape orientation? And there's also this tree kind of on the back of the cabin. And there's really no way that I can get it all into the frame without having a ton of sky in there. So I'm just trying to work that out. And what I think I'm going to end up doing is uh, portrait orientation keeping the one tree to the right in frame and then I'll have a little bit of this other one in there as well but I'll put up both of them for you so see how it comes out now on location I really struggled with deciding how I wanted to frame up this scene. I thought when I was there that the portrait orientation was going to work better, but when I looked back on things, I really think the landscape one does a much better job at showing off the whole scene. So this just goes to show the power of the crop, how much changing a crop can change the way a photograph looks. And then on my third pass through the photo, I actually put it into a one-to-one -one or a square crop. And I think that one could also work as well. So what do you guys think? So this is the unprocessed raw file of a scene I saw just driving down the road. Now I'm still trying to sort out my editing techniques, and this was the first way that I edited it. Now I really don't like all the magenta and purple hue in there. It's not as natural as I'd like. So I decided to turn it into a black and white, and I think this works much better. So hopefully my editing technique will sort of streamline and become a little bit more consistent in the future, but I'm still trying to work this all out. So I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you on the next adventure. Thank you so much for watching.